catch him, and when I do, pump, sit, keep turning, and there it is. See that? As soon as he grabs me, I'm going to take control from him as best I can with the wrist. And as soon as I do that, I'm going to pop my head free. I don't want to keep my head in the middle. If my head gets stuck in the middle, I'm toast. Okay, that's, I'm in a real trouble because he could do a triangle on me, a number of things. And I don't want to be that. I don't want to be that guy. So, so as soon as he's knocked me down, here, grab the wrist, pop your head free. You've got to get your head out, not here, out to the side. And the further the better. You know, don't stick your head up like a wrestler would because, you know, it, it's, just, it's just not quite, this doesn't work for that really well for this particular move. I'm going to pop it here. Now, as soon as I do this, I'm going to post my foot and I'm going to sit through. I'm just going to be basically a sit out. Okay, sit out like this, and I'm going to keep sitting out, and I'm going to keep turning, 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 turning. Come on over here, guys, so you can see. I'm going to turn through. I've turned through, I've done my sit out, and here it is. I want to make sure, like we were talking about what Coach Hinchcliffe said last week, I want to make sure when I sit out, his shoulder is flat on the mat. Whether he's on his knees or his body's flat, it's kind of irrelevant at this point. What is irrelevant is his shoulder, his upper body has to be on the mat. So when I sit through and finish, when I come, I want to be palms up. And when I do this, see here, my right hand at the wrist, my left hand just above it at the forearm, and I'm going to pull it in to my, I'm going to use my, my uh, uh, walkie, my armpit area, my left rib area, to lean into it. I don't want to lean back because I'm letting him off the hook. I want to, put, I want to apply a lot of pressure on the elbow joint as well as the shoulder joint. And when I do this, I just drive into them like that. One more time. I catch him, and when I do, pop, sit, keep turning, and there it is. See that? Not bad for an old guy, I guess. Okay, but you'll do it better, okay? And there's the girl like hitting it. When you do this, pull up, up to the sky, and lean into them. Now you're using your walking, your armpit area, your side of your ribs into his elbow and into his shoulder. And notice the important thing, he's planted on the, his shoulder's planted on the mat. Because this, this hurts. If his shoulder's up, he's got more room to move in the scale. Okay? So it's just a sit-out walking to Tommy, just from the bottom. Okay?